Scott is back tonight from Alpine Academy of Rockford. You have a really big event coming up soon. We do. We uh, So we're getting ready to celebrate 25 years at Alpine Academy. Yeah. So we have a big auction dinner coming up uh, with a family feud style game show going on. Uh, and then there'll be things for everybody in the audience to do. So we're hoping that everybody uh, that's been a part of our family for 25 years yeah. uh, shows up. Uh, so that's that's hopefully going to be a good, good thing for us. Um, and we're also going to take time to remember uh, Keith Wilson, mm -hmm. who passed away over this past weekend. Keith uh, was instrumental in making Alpine Academy who it is now. Keith was also a former superintendent of uh, Rockford Lutheran School. Oh, okay. So um, we're, we're certainly saddened to, to learn of his, his loss, but at the same time celebrating his life uh, at that event and, and certainly at this weekend. Where, where yeah. So the event is March 4th. The event is March 4th. Uh, we need to make sure everybody RSVPs by the end of this week. Okay. So we can make sure that we have everything that we need to do it. Sure. Uh, we're very fortunate. We've had a lot of local businesses that have donated items that are going to be auctioned off that day. Uh -huh. So uh, we're excited about that auction part. Uh, we're excited to be able to, to offer those things and be able to give people an opportunity to get things at a cheaper price, right? Yeah. I mean, isn't that what you do? You go in and you try to get it <laughs> yeah, So fun. we're excited to be able to do that. We've had a lot of, a lot of businesses, over 50 businesses have donated cool. uh, different items to the event. So. Is the event open to everyone who wants so to come? So the event is open to anybody who okay. wants to come. You just call the school and let them know that you want to RSVP. We're using this event to, to launch us into Lutheran Schools Week. Okay. So it's on March 4th is the event, and then March 5th uh, starts Lutheran Schools Week. So from March 5th to March 11th. So then we're going to start uh, celebrate everything that Lutheran Schools is all about. Um, so it's not just the education, it's, it's how we, we worship God and, and the ways that we participate in, in our family at, at Alpine. And then also certainly the ways that we reach out to the community and utilize our influence as a school to be able to do that. It sounds like a fun way to like get into that. Yeah, the kids game. will love it because yeah. we get to have dress up days and, and all kinds of fun things during during the week and so that's gonna be a great way and, and to be able to have the dinner before that. Yeah. We take over the church service on Sunday at, at Alpine and then the following week at our resurrection campus we'll we'll certainly do some things there with them as well. So so tell me what family feud style dinner means. Like, do you have to, are you going to shuffle people around and make them into teams or is it going to be family? So initially we have two, two, gate, two teams, okay. one's from the church and one's from the school and they're going to compete in Fun. a family feud game. And then um, we also have at the tables that everybody's sitting at, there's going to be questions that they're going to be able to answer. Um, and what's neat about that is that the questions they're going to answer are ones that are, so you get on Family Feud and it's always, you know, 100 people were surveyed. Yeah. It's 100 students that were oh, surveyed. Oh, cool. So you're going to have to know something about what the kids might think about some of these questions. That's uh, way more fun than adults. And they're certainly off the wall questions. So it's not just, <laughs> it's not who's your favorite cartoon, but certainly a lot of, a lot of questions that the kids will be able to answer and, and surprising answers. There's never been a, like, children's Family Feud. There totally should be. There should be. How many it other shows It would be funnier. Like, I, I mean, Family Feud's funny as it is, but like, think about the kids. The, the things that kids would say kids and the kid, things funny. that kids would do on the show would be phenomenal. We, you know, we start that. Yeah, well, we could. <laughs> maybe, maybe that's what I should do. We yeah. want to have a second game. We could have the kids go up yeah, there. Yeah, that'd be so very fun. So you never fun. know. We haven't set our other two teams okay. yet, so we're working on that. That's an now. idea. You also have an open house coming up March 18th. We do. Um, March 18th, we'll have an open house. It'll be uh, themed with St. Patrick's Day, mm -hmm. so we'll be doing a lot of things, St. Patrick's Day crafts and games uh, during the open house. Um, some of our open houses are, are active, and this is one of them. Um, so this is a, a good start into our open season for enrollment. Okay. Um, so we're looking forward to strong enrollment for the 2020, 2023, 24 school year. That's a mouthful. Um, a lot to say now because we're getting used to that. Yeah. Right? But, <laughs> um, but that'll be the kickoff to our next 25 years. So it's a really big deal to us. This is our first one on March 18th with the St. Patrick's Day theme. We'll have one at our main campus in the morning. So that'll be okay. from 9 to 11. And then we'll have another open house at our resurrection campus from uh, one to three. Okay. So that'll give everybody an opportunity to be able to come out, check out the school, learn a little bit about what it takes to be part of the Alpine family, um, and then certainly um, enjoy the, the crafts and things that go along with it. And it's a true open house, just show up, right? Just show up, please, yes, RSVP, absolutely. You send don't have to a RSVP. carrier pigeon to let you know you're coming. Right. <laughs> you know, and, and then of course, you know, people can look forward to the next month and we'll be back here to, yeah. to bring, I'm gonna bring a couple teachers with me. Okay, and, that sounds and, fun. And then we'll have them compete with you on the Easter egg hunt. Yes. Last year, the teacher was my wife. Yes. Um, and I don't know which one of you won, but she got a little lost in the 
in, I don't in, remember in the room. When we I remember there. doing it. Yeah, she she got a lot of, a little lost in the room and. I think so. it was wasn't it on my birthday? I think it was around my oh, birthday. Oh, no, it was on your birthday last year. Yeah, I, I was like, I do really remember talk. this. <laughs> because at the same day I had the kids, uh, we recorded them and they sang Happy Birthday. Yeah, it was, so it was very sweet. Okay. Well, Easter's a little earlier this year, so don't worry, you don't have to do We it. don't have to do it again? We no. could. Uh, my birthday is sometimes during the Easter season. Well, it's, it's later. It's Easter's, a little, it's Easter's the ninth, right? A little later this year, yeah. Yeah, my birthday's the 14th, don't worry about it. You're off yeah. the hook. <laughs> well, we can still do it. We'll do it anyway, yeah, okay. why not? You can reach out to Scott and Alpine Academy through all of the avenues you see on your screen right now. Make sure that you join them March 18th for the open house, and you can still get tickets for the 25th anniversary dinner. Thanks so much for coming in. Thank you. I appreciate it. Coming up next, we are off to hear about the incredible curtain wall. Oh, my gosh, you're going to love this. Lining the edge of the new Rockford Public Library building, and then we're planning birthday parties with Stateline Kids. We'll be right back.